Hi, Evan Pantazzi. I've mentioned this uh, subject uh, in the past, but I wanted to reiterate it. Um, I talk a lot about the Bubishi. I talk a lot about the 6G hands. Now, the 6G hands I will never stop talking about because those were the ones that really keyed us into um, deeper aspects of Q-Show. Uh, and enabled us to really uh, penetrate deep within the, uh, the human anatomy to uh, cause damage to these inner structures that are uh, protected by nature. Part protected by the skin, the muscle layers and tendons, uh, also by the bone structures. And then again, you ha also has the, have, the has the, have the nerve system, excuse me, uh, to protect the vascular tissues and some of the organs because you have the withdrawal reflex that happens when you cause pain on a particular nerve that's overlying an organ or an, uh, uh, a vascular tissue or something much more um, potentially uh, damaging to the human. So the nervous system acts as that protectorate as the, do the other solid structures of muscle, bone, tendon, ligament, and uh, uh, skin. So um, what's the bubishi good for? Well, the bubishi is good to relate um, to history. It's good to relate into the katas. Now, just yesterday, I posted something about why I focus a lot on talking about kata in my training, even though you don't need to do it to take the Kyushu training. It's good to relate it to the katas for those that do do it there, and also for those that are interested in seeing how katas or why katas were developed. And it was because of this Kyushu. But do you need the Bubishi to learn Kyushu? The answer is absolutely not, okay? It's for um, avid uh, practitioners or uh, enthusiasts that want to dig into the history, that want to relate things back in more coherent ways, back into the old methods of uh, karate and Kyushu and martial arts. But again, it's not mandatory to learn it. And Kyushu is a very th easy thing to learn. It's a very um, uh, laborious thing to get down to a skill. You can learn it in um, 10 seconds. You just find a target, you find a tool, you find a trajectory, okay? And that's all you need to do for simple um, application. The tough part is getting yourself practiced enough to be able to use it under stress in uh, highly mobile situations, uh, in unpredictable, spontaneous situations that an attack would be. And that's, that's where you develop the skill. The knowledge is easy. Uh, and that's why the pressure point guys out there, you can see them doing Q show, but if they don't practice it in a highly mobile, stressful situation, uh, it doesn't matter what targets you know, it doesn't matter um, what other things you know, you have to apply it, okay? Because the, hand, the skill of Q show is in the hands. It's not in your head. And those, the, the, the groups that um, test people with verbal or written tests in Q-Show, it just befuddles me. It's, uh, it's not important, who cares what's in your head. Again, it's what's in your hands, what you can do with your hands under those very high stressful situations. So again, the Bubishi is for an enthusiast or um, a longtime practitioner that's uh, really interested in the history and, and how it relates back into karate and the, the, the Chinese connections and whatnot. But for um, the average Joe uh, to develop a skill, it's absolutely not necessary. At, as I will continue working on the Bubishi because I'm, I, I still find some things in there. But I can see the day when um, that source will have been um, fully uh, realized and functional in uh, my own mind as a uh, uh, theoretical base and then in my own hands as a practical base. And right now the learning curve is still going, so I still look into it and I still relate things to it and I will for some time. But again, you don't need it, but it's good to have.